unless you live up there uh, in the east end of New Albany. Uh, my guess is most of the people don't even know it exists there. The cemeteries uh, were, were formed uh, right, uh, well, during the time of the Civil War. The New Albany National Cemetery, of course, uh, New Albany sitting on the river, uh, with the numerous Civil War hospitals uh, that were established in New Albany, I think about 10, uh, there was a need for burial. Honor, dignity, respect, well, they've earned it. You know, they've paid for it in one form or another with either their service or their blood. You know, and it, it's such an honor to, to work in a place like this. I look at it as I am one of the very last to be able to pay my respects to that veteran for his service. Well, my dad was actually born in New Albany in 1925, and then uh, he actually joined the service during World War II when it first started. He actually went in when he was 17 instead of 18. He kind of cheated and had to get his grandma to sign for him. But he'd always been raised around New Albany, and for years he wanted to be buried here, but they closed the cemetery and he couldn't be. So then we found out, um, I guess a couple years ago, that you could be here if you was cremated. He was excited that he knew he could be buried here if it was possible. And uh, so we was real happy, the uh, family was, when it, it was able to. Having deaths in the family now, at our age, my wife and I, we've had to deal with our grandparents and getting a graveyard and doing stuff. If they're a veteran and getting a VA cemetery, huge benefit, huge rest off the shoulder of the children and stuff. You know where they're going to be buried and stuff. But the biggest thing is they fought in the war, they served, they earned that right. They get that benefit, and that's how it should be. One of the things about the, the being a military wife, and, and you see all the, all the graves of all the soldiers and their spouses in the military, which gives you a great honor to be buried here is because you know every single person here has experienced everything that you have. Why the soldiers have been gone to war and as far as that loss or scared while they're away if they're gonna you know come back and just the heartache of, of your loved one and the pride you know people people forget how much pride that your family and the soldiers have and what they're doing for our country so that we can do what we do every day. So, you know, when you're, if you're buried here in the cemetery, you know that you're being put to rest with all these people and these soldiers and their spouses that have went through exactly what you went through. And one of the hardest things when your soldiers are serving is you really feel like most of the civilian people don't understand. You know, and it's not that they don't care. It's not that they're compa not compassionate. They don't put their hearts out, but it's just something about someone else experiencing what you've been through. So even though they've already served their time and they've already been laid to rest, to just to know, you know, like when we come out here and we visit, you know, my in-laws and, and, you know, you still have the sense of pride that takes over the sadness of that loss, you know, so, and you know that's how they felt. And you know that's how every soldier here has felt. That's why they're buried here. There's not many communities in the whole country that can, you know, uh, say they have a national cemetery in their community. And I, I think it's a great, great tool, a great uh, privilege to have that uh, in New Albany.